Rising temperature, intense rainfall, strong gusts of wind are all phenomena resulting from climate change, for which one of the main reasons is the excessive emission of carbon dioxide. The greenhouse effect is a phenomenon of global warming resulting from the retention of a certain amount of heat emitted to the atmosphere. This is caused by the increase in the content of gases, mainly carbon dioxide, freons, methane and nitrous oxide. Forests absorb some of the carbon dioxide through the process of photosynthesis, reducing the harmful effect of this phenomenon. Numerous studies have confirmed that the increase in the average temperature of the Earth's surface is associated with an increase in carbon dioxide emissions. The Kyoto Protocol, which is an international agreement on combating global warming, came into force in the year 1997. In 2015, representatives of the United Nations signed the Paris Agreement, recognizing that the protection of greenhouse gas absorbers, such as forests, and increasing their efficiency is crucial in the fight against the greenhouse effect. During COP24 in December 2018, 82 countries signed Declaration Forests for Climate. It concerns preservation and enlarging carbon stocks in sinks and reservoirs of greenhouse gases by 2050 and points to the key role of sinks in achieving the objectives stated in the Paris Agreement. The reduction of greenhouse gases with their increased absorption can lead to a solution to this problem. Key methods to reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere include increasing the capacity and size of carbon absorption by forests, increasing the carbon stock stored in the ecosystem, and reducing the risk of excessive carbon dioxide emissions. Ten hectares of forest absorbs the amount of carbon dioxide equivalent to that produced by 16 trucks or one large pig farm. Over 9 million hectares of Polish forests constitute as much as 30% of the entire country and their area is still growing. It is estimated that in the year 2050, forests will occupy 33% of the country's area. Polish forests have a crucial role in carbon sequestration and storage in soil, trees and other plants. They absorb 36 million tons of CO2 a year more than they emit. As a consequence of aging of forest stands, the intensity of carbon sequestration decreases. According to estimates, in 2040, Forests in Poland will absorb nearly 20 million tons of CO2 less than today. Multifunctional and sustainable forest management supports nature conservation and is essential for climate neutrality. Healthy, biodiverse and resilient forests adapted to climate change bring significant environmental benefits. They ensure continued supply of a wide range of ecosystem services which are essential for human health and well-being. The state forests have launched an initiative aimed at developing an action plan that can limit negative climate change by leveraging the potential of forests. A project aimed at increasing the reduction of carbon dioxide will be implemented for 30 years in selected forest districts covering 12,000 hectares, which corresponds to the total area of Torun. The Carbon Forests project is being carried out due to progressing climate change. It uses the naturally occurring photosynthesis to absorb CO2. The greatest advantage of the project is the possibility to implement it on a larger area. Planned activities under the Forest Carbon Farms project. The main goal of the project is to increase the amount of biomass and active protection of soil and wetlands. Afforestation, natural regeneration and regeneration made using the Sabansky method together with planting are activities that increase the amount of biomass per unit of surface area. The introduction of underplanting deciduous species 
in the already existing pine stands will cause a significant increase of absorbed CO2. In addition, deciduous tree species are more resistant to climate change than coniferous. The introduction of fast-growing species, such as Douglas fir, creates faster growth of forest biomass and thus more absorbed carbon dioxide. Changing development laws will allow, among other things, to avoid sudden erosion of the soil surface and change the age of preservation of tree stands. At the same time, it will increase the resistance of stands to abiotic factors, for example, fires and winds and insect damage. According to estimates, during the 30 years of the project, 12,000 hectares of forest will absorb up to 1 million tons of carbon dioxide. Additional CO2 reduction in the form of so-called carbon dioxide units, CDU. CDU corresponds to one ton of CO2 accumulated as a result of the additional activities within the project. Carbon dioxide units are purchased voluntarily. An added value for the PR and CSR partners of Lassi Panist Fova, the state forestry. Through our partnership, we can acquire land for reforestation, protect rare and endangered species found in the forests, improve the forest tourist infrastructure. The carbon dioxide units, JDW, have been purchased by many other well-known brands. Sale of carbon dioxide units is the project's added value. The partners taking part in the project carry out the concept of business social responsibility in the field of pro-ecological activities. All information and news about the project can be found on the website of the State Forests Development Projects. Additional activities and promotion of the project have been carried out since 2017 and will last for the next 10 years. Each year, participating forest districts report on the implementation of additional activities. In 2021, study on methodological solutions for supporting additional activities will be finished and the carbon dioxide units will be made available during the entire project lifetime. Forest carbon farms means greater absorption and lower emission of carbon dioxide, as well as benefits for local communities and nature, development of science, protection of the earth, and an alternative to expensive ways of fighting global warming. Forest Carbon Farms. We protect the climate for you.